Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. And today I want to talk about the antiviral mushrooms. And we will talk about the human papilloma virus. Because this is a very common virus. Many people have it. And it can cause their skin lesions. It can cause uh, candylomas, papillomas. And unfortunately, some types can cause cancer. For example, oral, pharyngeal, laryngeal cancer or cancer of uh, sexual organs of men, women, and uh, of course cervical cancer. Of course I'm talking about types 16, 18, 31, 33, and some others. So let's get started. So here, this is the clinical trial, 462 patients. Uh, they had uh, inflammation of their gums. The doctors took the swab and checked. And uh, 61 patients of uh, this, uh, they had uh, these uh, 16 or 18, uh, meaning uh, dangerous types of uh, HPV. 20 patients were in the first group, they were receiving uh, these mushrooms. This is called Letiporus sulfureus. And other patients, they were getting mixture of Trametis versicolor or Coriolis versicolor or Turkish tail plus Reishi holding G or Ganoderma lucidum. These were capsules. They were taken for two months and after two months we, they found out that only one in 20 patients uh, could uh, get rid of HPV if they were taking this mushroom. But in the second group 9 from 10 got rid of mushroom, almost 90%. That is very interesting. Next one, HPV uh, living in their cervix, in vagina. We know that they can be dangerous because they can cause uh, cervical cancer in women. And here they developed the gel containing uh, trametus or turkey's tail. And uh, the patients, they got a checkup of their cervix before uh, the investigation, then they were getting this gel or not, then they were using this gel or not using this gel, and after three months and six months they got re-examination. And here we can see that this is the rate of healing of cervix, healing of the inflammation or cervical erosions. You see, if they were getting this gel, 78%, not getting 55%. But if there was high-risk HPV, then the difference was even more. And this is after three months, after six months, even more uh, people healed from this uh, problem. Side effects. There was some burning and vaginal itching. No other serious reactions were observed. As for me, even not the direct action, but the action through immunity is important. That's why I think even for this kind of uh, things, uh, you may just take the pills containing these mushrooms. Of course, it should be checked in clinical investigations. It's just my opinion. Because all these medicinal mushrooms, they work primarily through immune system. And, for example, this is another interesting trial uh, showing that this mixture, again, of Ganoderma or Reishi plus Coriolis or Turkish tail can help in controlling the labial herpes that causes blisters on the lips. And from the full video, you can already know that uh, Trometis, for example, it can help uh, controlling the viral hepatitis. That's why mushrooms should be considered uh, by those patients who have some chronic viral infections. If you want to see the full videos about the mentioned mushrooms, please watch them. There is a link in the description below this video. If you have any experience trying these mushrooms, please share it in comment section. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I wish you good luck. God bless you. Bye-bye.